This is the sort of new, the one and only 16x16 all in one flight controller. The pads are small, so it's not meant for beginner builders. Also, this video is not meant to be a tutorial of basic soldering skills. I'm going to build one of these, my signature 2 inch build. The flat controller only comes with two wires and a capacitor. It doesn't come with the rubber grommets needed to fit in M2 screws. So guess I have to take it from another flat controller. The USB is most likely blocked by screws if you use regular work canopies. I will put the USB on the back and use only three screws for the canopy. I will first mount the board, cut the wires to length. One tip is to use long standoffs, so you don't need to use tools to take them on or off. Then it's just the regular stuff of thinning the wires. If the pads come with through holes, don't thin the pads. I'll repeat, don't fucking thin the pads. Instead, you thread the wires through the hole and solder it from the other side. For all the pads on smaller boards, you can just add tin to your iron tip and then it should apply enough tin to the solder joint. And in case there's not enough solder, just add more solder to your tip and then repeat the process. For this motor, I was trying to be smart and solder all three wires at once. It was a big, big mistake. Here's one of my secret skills. For small boards, good luck using a solder wick. But instead, use a strip a long piece of wire, dip it in flux, and it will absorb the excess solder. But for tight joints like these, be sure to check afterwards for with a multimeter or just do a visual inspection.
Soldering the battery lead is nothing special. One tip is you can shape the wire for a better fit. And obviously you have to use like 400 degrees Celsius for the ground pad. Double check the polarity. And since weight is such a huge factor for smaller builds, cut the wires to length and if needed, you can cut the red and, wire, red and black wires to be different length. It will save weight and also be easier for cable management. After serving on the battery lead, it's a good time to plug it in to have an initial test. Soldering the electronics to the body is actually the hardest part. The pads are not only small, but they are really tightly spaced. Put a dab of solder on it and spread it like butter. If you breach some pads, just spread it out evenly. Ground pads can be stubborn. Add a small amount of flux to convince the solder to stick. The pads are not labeled, so find a pinout diagram online and count which pads you have to use.
Do these parts patiently. It's not easy. But an easier method is to solder it with a two-step process. First step is to just somehow stick the wire to the pad, and afterwards reposition your tweezers to have a better hold, and then reflow the whole joint. I have to emphasize, these pads are really tight, so make sure to do an inspection. And folks, that's it. No magic smoke came out. The build is complete after the parts are screwed in. Test flight in the description. Thanks very much.